Kumusta? Wow, I didn't say hola. Yep, I decided the hola phase is now gone. And I decided I'm going to be saying hello in many different languages instead of the regular hola. And I said kumusta? And that's Tagalog for hello. And so for each and every new video I'm going to be producing, I'm going to be saying a new hello each time so you don't get stuck with hola. So today in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a good password. Let me ask you a few questions. Do you have an account online? Yes, we all do. You have a Facebook account, a MySpace account, a YouTube account, an email account, your school account, whatever. Do you know the passwords for each and every one of them? Are they all different? Are they all the same? Are there dictionary words? Passwords, unfortunately, are being cracked every single day because people are choosing bad passwords. And up until last year, I've had my passwords as dictionary words, and all my passwords are the same. So, I went to this site, goodpassword.com. It's a password generator that generates passwords for your accounts. So once you go to goodpassword.com, go to the random password section. Choose how many characters you want your password. Eight is generally okay. You could choose how many number of passwords you want Good Password to generate for you. I'm going to choose three. You could choose if you want to use numbers, lowercase or uppercase letters. I'm going to choose all of them. The more choices you have checked here, the better. Click on no typewriter. You can also exclude the lookalikes like 1 and I, 0 and O, lowercase I and I, a single quote and a double quote. So you can exclude those. I recommend you just leave those excluded so you won't get any confusion. I'm going to click on generate password. And here are the three passwords that goodpassword.com generated for me. Don't even try. These are not going to be my passwords. But the purpose of this video is you need to change your passwords to random letters like this one. And you might be saying, Vince, I'm not going to be able to memorize them. Well, I have over 20 accounts and all of them are random letters. And I memorized them all. After a few two months of looking at a piece of paper, I memorized them. So basically all you have to do, get a small piece of paper and list all your passwords on there and keep it at a secure place. And when you need to type in your password, just take that little paper out and type it in and put it back to your hiding place. Your piece of paper should look like this. So let's say your YouTube account, just shorten it down to YT and then your password. And then no one will know that's your YouTube password. You just shorten it down. So for your paper, don't write passwords and then put YouTube and your username and junk. Just abbreviate it, YT, and then put your password on. And that's what I did when I created my little sheet of paper. And after a few months or so, you'll memorize all your passwords and you won't need that paper and you can throw it away, shred it, flush it down the toilet like I did. And so that's how to generate random password. Don't use dictionary words for your passwords because it's not secure and anybody can crack it. So that's how to create a random password from goodpassword.com. Thank you very much for watching this video. Email me at vince at vincebogna.com. Send me tweets to Twitter at twitter.com slash vincebogna. And you can save 25% off your next Hover domain by using coupon code vince by going to hover.com slash vince or typing in V-I-N-C-E at checkout. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.